There you go, there they go, there they go. Oh, 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 there you go. Okay. This is what happens when mommy changes diapers. She gets really close to throwing it away. It's a beautiful and bright Thursday morning and I have to move the car. Try to make a time lapse this morning of the sun rising, but there were no clouds in the sky, so it was pretty boring until the sun came up, and that was at the very end of my time lapse. So maybe I'll put it at the beginning. Maybe you've already seen it. I won't even talk about that. Normally, it takes a pretty long time to find parking. It's really cold, by the way. Normally, it takes a really long time to find parking, but I was lucky enough to just go around the corner and find one. Our tenant Ashley is waiting for the bus. I'm gonna stop by and say hi. <laughs> I just checked the temperature because my fingers almost fell off while walking over here and it's 12 degrees. Nina's eating cheese and also enjoying her new hairstyle. Nina, yeah, here. Here. Oh no, that's mommy. That's mommy. You want to up with mommy. We have two strollers now, and they're so easy to push. Mommy can do them both in one with one hand each. Good morning, Nina. Is it time for breakfast or time for iPad? Today, Nina's having waffles. <laughs> It's her bacon greased fingers. I don't know why she likes bacon so much. Probably inherited from mommy. Mm -hmm. Daddy, how many cups of coffee have you had? I think this is the third one. Nothing wrong with three cups of coffee. My hands shaking. It's my baby shaking. Cal is being a bato loco. Or do you think she's learning crazy? 
Are you safe? Yes. Say yes. Chachi. She's also very sleepy. So the reason that we're going out on this very cold day is because it's so cold that we are a little scared that the crawl space underneath the tenant's part of the house might be exposed to too much cold air and thus breaking the water pipes down there. So I'm gonna go to Home Depot and see if I could find a easy yet cheap solution to that problem. I know that I can spray uh, some insulated spray down there that can go on all the walls and the pipes but from my last research that I did on the computer that's actually quite expensive so I'm gonna see if there is an alternative um, or if I could just do that myself which is actually why I'm heading to Home Depot because the service is expensive but maybe doing it yourself is not so have our fingers crossed that uh, it's an affordable solution Nina fell asleep, so I'm spending a little bit of time in the parking lot to let her sleep a little bit longer. Um, she usually doesn't wake up when I transfer her to the stroller anyways, but this guarantees that she sleeps a little bit longer. I decided to just come inside because mommy wants some drive through, so I shouldn't make her wait. So if I use these roll insulations, insulations I'm going to have to buy three of these. That's 60 bucks to do the just the top part of the little crawl space. Then I have to get two of these to do the floor of the crawl space. That's not counting the walls. I don't know what I would have to do with the walls, especially since the walls are cement. So I don't know if the combination of this uh, plus some other thing for the wall is going to be cheaper than just having somebody come in and spray everything down. I talked with one of the Home Depot guys and he said that uh, I don't really need to insulate the entire crawl space if it's already blocked off with cement walls and a door, uh, which it is. And all I really need to do is find a way to keep the pipes warm. And so he sold me this uh, 12 foot coil that you can wrap around pipes that uh, keep it just warm enough so the water doesn't freeze, but doesn't actually heat the water. And uh, he said it shouldn't be that much of a problem either since it's right next to the source of where the water comes from. So it should be fine to just use this coil. So I'm gonna use this coil. And uh, actually the thing I was most concerned about was the, um, the sewage pipe because that's what broke last year. And he says that the only reason that could have broken was if it had some type of uh, blockage and the ice gathered up because those things are four inches thick and there's, it's very difficult for a four inch thick pipe to freeze over. So he said not to worry about that, especially since it's already been replaced. So I'm just going to uh, wrap this coil around the exposed uh, pipes and it should be fine. It's also gonna be much cheaper than, uh, I think it was $160 of um, insulation, which didn't include the walls, just the ceiling and the floors. So I'm glad this is uh, an option. And I might be able to use the one coil that I bought, but if necessary, I could always buy two more because there's three lines that go in there, one for the, uh, one for the toilet, one for for the sink and one for the shower. But I think this one 12 foot cable should be enough to keep all three sets happy, unfrozen. We're back home and Nina's still asleep. She's been asleep for about an hour and a half. I try to get her upstairs without waking up. This is the water pipe heat cable I got. 12 feet long. I'm gonna go install it as soon as mommy's out of the shower so that she could watch Cal and Nina. I'm in the crawl space and uh, that over there is one of the pipes in question. And uh, there's another one at the very end. So it's actually not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna try to run this uh, wire and hopefully it'll be able to capture both uh, both pipes. Interesting thing, I was under there and I realized that the pipe that I was looking at is actually a sewage pipe. So there's no need for that to have any coil on it. 
and as I searched around all the pipes down there are sewage pipes so none of them require any type of extra insulation all of the pipes must be running inside the floor floorboards so if I do add any extra insulation it might just be the roll-on insulation that I could just staple onto the ceiling or the roof of that little uh, crawl space so no need to uh, put this wire in I could just return it wish I would have known that before Grandpa gave us a puzzle to try to figure out. Unfortunately, whenever I have a moment to try to figure it out, Nina wants to play with it too. This Tanagran app has become Nina's new favorite app. Still not programmed well, but she enjoys it. It's the few glitches that it has, she can work around just by canceling out. It's just cute to watch her figure out how to work around glitches. Bye Nina. Where's Nina? Are you playing mommy's pump? Oh, baby. <laughs> Seems like we've had a very short, a very quick day. It's time for bed, and I'm going to read Nina six books today uh, her three new library books and three of her usual standards and hopefully that'll get her close to sleepy unfortunately she's been doing her poop late in the evening yes we're gonna read that book late in the evening and uh, that's made it difficult on her sleeping because it kind of wakes her up when she poops and then she ends up going to sleep kind of late but yesterday we got her at 8.45, so hopefully she'll make her she'll make her poopy very soon, probably during these readings. As I was putting Nina to bed, and she didn't want to go to bed, she was fighting and punching and kicking and twisting, um, I began counting her toes and then her fingers, and I did that a couple of times and noticed that it calmed her down. So then I went down her body parts, telling her how many she had of each, and that sent her into a frenzy of wanting to talk. And she was trying very hard using all the syllable and consonants that she knows and throwing in a word or two in there in between all of her sound effects, trying to have a conversation with me. Um, and it was actually very cute. And eventually she fell asleep. Unfortunately, she didn't poop tonight, which means that she might wake up in an hour or two to do that and that's really gonna mess up her sleeping but it was cute good night nina good night nina good night
Good night, Cal. Good night, Cal. Sleep tight. We love you. We love you very much. <laughs>